Before talking about Hourglass, I'll first talk about Arena, and specifically, let's just quickly throw back to when Arena first released. New mode, entirely PvP, a ton of new cosmetics and reason to play to get all these new cosmetics, all these new rewards, all of this motivation to play the new mode. Yes, I'm foreshadowing and hinting at something, just remember motivation, that's a very large part of this. But, thing is, after a while of people playing it, there was only ever one cosmetic set added to Arena, and that isn't a joke. They added one recolor set to Arena, and then of course, more people get the cosmetics they want, they play it less and less, less and less players playing, and the occasional times they play, the longer the queue times are, the less they want to play it, the less they play it, the less players there are, longer queue times, less people playing, exponential problem, until they do a complete revamp of the mode, yes! Completely new, played completely different. What else do they do? Nothing. The entire reason to play Arena after the revamp, the entire motivation was just it got revamped, nothing else. So, the same problem just happened again. People played it for the new mode, and then they stopped playing it the second they just got, you know, I don't know, had their fill. It was just an exponential problem, just twice as bad as the original issue. I don't, whatever. Well, this eventually culminates in Amina announced to be shut down, which will play it to get what they haven't gotten, and then it ends. So, let's just think about it here. Why did Arena die? It's pretty obvious. Nothing was added. Well, more accurately, there was no motivation given to play uh, to a certain point. There were, yes, cosmetics to play for, but over time, people would get these cosmetics, and pretty much no cosmetics were added. It was just, it just stayed the same. And of course, they would just co this would just culminate in less and less pay, uh, people playing because they would get the cosmetics they want to get and it would be an exponential issue and problem. I mean, hell, fucking the ships in the game mode were only ever released to adventure after Arena ended. Why? What the fuck? Why did you only get these ship sets after Arena was over? Why didn't you just you do, do commendations to get them while Avina was alive? What the- you had, what, five, six ship sets just sitting here and you didn't release them until Avina was dead? They just killed the game off by just not adding anything. They never gave anybody who played the game any regularly any motivation to play it. And of course, this culminated in Avina dying. And I think a lot of you could probably connect the strings I'm trying to show you. What has happened to Hourglass since it released? They've made it so you can do same faction battles. Honestly, I love that. Great idea. Helps queue times. Good idea. Good guy. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. But apart from that, what else have they really done other than just fixing exploits? Nothing. They have added absolutely nothing to Hourglass. It's effectively the same thing happening over again, but there's even more to it. It's not even just that nothing is being added and no new motivators are being added to Hourglass. It's just that what's there is sort of not amazing. Not because the singular things like the curse, like the like the figurehead that gets better the higher rep you are. Honestly, I fucking love that idea. That's that's amazing. I love that. And not the skeleton curse and what you can unlock afterwards. It's everything all together just doesn't really feel right. Let's just look at the grind from rep 1 to 100. What do you get? You get titles, you get that figurehead that gets better as you level up, and you get the curse. That's it. From rep 1 to 100, that's all you get. We should pretty much just get rid of titles since that's exceedingly subjective. So all you get is a curse and a figurehead. Why? Now let's go from rep 100 to 200. It just seems so, in my opinion, limited. Like, what made them just limit themselves so much does somebody else limit them because all that there is for athena is just a ship set and a cosmetic set if i'm correct for the skeleton curse it's all the unlocked for the skeleton but that's still pretty much it it's so limited in arena you had equipment sets you had the you had weapon sets including the legendary sea dog weapons the glorious sea dog weapons, the legendary weapons. I fucking love those guns. I wish I got those. I barely played whenever Arena existed. But thing is, 
when you look at all of the stuff that Arena had compared to Hourglass, it just seems like one of them is so limited. When looking at Hourglass rewards compared to Arena rewards, it's exceedingly evident. Hourglass only has one costume set and one ship set, both for the Guardians of Fortune, and the Skeleton Curse, which has its own completely separate cosmetics, and of course, the Athena Curses. This is a lot, and technically more than what Arena had in cosmetics at least, and only cosmetics. Arena had two ship sets, two cosmetic sets, with two entire equipment sets to these cosmetic sets, and three weapon sets in the Victoria's Sea Dog Blunderbuss. Yes, the curses are amazing, but really, do they replace the weapon and equipment sets? Like, come on, man. Thing is, let's look at all of these issues and try to fix them instead of just complaining. You give criticism, not complaints. When looking at the issues, I can see them all. One, a lack of cosmetics and motivation from rep 1 to 100. Yes, the figurehead and the curse are on both sides, are superb and beautiful, both in idea, both in execution. It's amazing. It's just, that's it. That's not really enough for everybody, especially if you're someone like me, who is okay at the game, but as I'm leveling up, is getting better and better. I'm seeing so little reward for my time and effort put into the mode. I feel as if that they shouldn't have limited themselves to just the figurehead for the unlocks. It's the figurehead and the curse. But with the figurehead, it gets better and better the higher level you are. Why is this just a figurehead? Why not make an entire ship set? That would be so cool. Having an entire ship set that looks cooler and cooler as you level up just seems like an amazing idea. And I don't know why they limit them limited themselves only to a figurehead. And I feel as if that's really all you need. You have the curse at the end, you have a ship set you unlock, but next comes what you get from reps 100 to 200. Thing is, in rep 100 to 200, instead of Athena's, all you get is the mysterious stranger closing, which is cool and good, I like it, and you get the ship set, I forgot the name of it. That's not really that much. I mean, yeah, gold curse exists, but really, who, who except for the sweatiest of the sweats are going to get this within the next year, alright? I'm not getting the gold curse anytime soon, I doubt I'm getting it at all, period. But, to get back on topic, on both sides, there is seemingly a limit at least compared to Arena, to the amount of stuff you can earn. It's so confusing to me why these seem so limited. I mean, seriously, like, like, here's an idea. Uh, ghostly legendary weapons, you know, like the legendary blunderbuss, sniper, and pistol, like from Arena and from, uh, rank 20 to 30. You can get those, except they're like the ghost weapons from that one season that I missed. That'd be so- I'd work for those. That, that seems so cool. And instead of getting to the reputation, you can get them through combinations. You kill, I don't know, 500 people with the ghostly curse. You get the ghostly legendary blunderbuss. You kill 500 people with the skeleton curse. You get a, a blunderbuss that's like the legendary blunderbuss, but made out of, of bones or something like that. Or maybe, or maybe more rusted and broken and has the reaper- um, colors on it. It's a good idea. It's a, an interesting idea and cool. Maybe um, to get the sword, you need to get the a combination that's like um, a b battle of cursed champions, where both you you have to be as a championship fighting another championship, uh, with you having ghost curse and somebody on the enemy ship having skeleton curse and the other way around. And when you sync them, you get the battle of cursed champions, and boom, you get the legendary ghostly pistol. Or the legendary skeletal pistol, something like that. It's just more stuff to do, more equipment, more weapons that you get instead of through reputation, through commendations. Why is only the skeleton cosmetics, and not even all of them, you get them through random commendations, yet it's only for the skeleton, and it's not even a majority of them. Well, actually, it's not even all of them is a better way to say it. I'm not, a, I'm not 100% sure on all those skeleton things, I'm, on all the skeleton cosmetics, I'm not gonna comment on it when I really don't know. But, thing is, why isn't there more equipment? Why isn't there more weapons? Hell, why isn't there more ship sets? There's one ship set for Athena, and that's it. That's it. Why not for, for, um, Reapers, if you sink 500 ships, random number, random number, um, if you sink 500 ships, you get the legendary skeletal uh, cannons, which is just the cannons from skeleton ships. If you play a thousand games, random number again, you get the skeletal hole, which is just low. It's a, it's not an exact copy and paste, but it looks like the skeleton ships holes. Wouldn't that be cool? 
I'd love to get. I'd love to have an entire skeleton ship. Maybe for Athena, you can have the same thing, except it's the legendary cosmetics mixed with ghost. It's like a ghostly legendary hole for a thousand games. Ghostly legendary cannons from Legend of the Sea of Thieves for a thousand games played. Maybe a thousand nautical miles inside of of hourglass. Well, actually, no, that's not a great plan. That just gives runners, you know, a reward for running. But you get what I mean. I mean, I guess a ghost ship wouldn't really make sense because, you know, Flameheart is the one who has the ghost ships, but it's a legendary ghost ship, and it's the legendary cosmetics just mixed with the cosmetics from that one season that I missed. Well, specifically the, leg the ghostly guns that I missed. Whatever, it's still an idea, it's cool, it's interesting, and it's stuff that at least I would love to grind for. It's more stuff to grind for. It's especially with the ones that needed through commendations and not just rep earnings that you can get players who have been playing this every day a more motivation to play Hourglass and give me a ton more motivation to play Hourglass. I want Ghostly Curse just to get the Ghostly Legendary weapons. That'd be so cool. I'd grind it out 10 times more. It'd give me so much more motivation. And don't give this to people who already have 500 sinks. Don't immediately give them the hole for 500 sinks uh, with the ghostly curse no make it so even old players who have already set up the game mode still have to grind it out so it gives them new voters of motivation to play i want everybody more motivation to play and i do not want this to be a, an arena 2.0 i do not want the same exact thing to happen to arena with nothing being added nothing being changed other than maybe one revamp maybe one change and it just let just be left there with no motivation for anybody except for the sweatiest of the sweat to play leaving everybody away from the mode i want more people to play hourglass I love Hourglass. I want more people to have more motivation to play this mode so that I have more motivation to play this mode and I have people to fight in this mode so I can keep playing it so that everybody can keep playing it. Hold on. Wait. Notification. Um, Captain Falcor. Season 11, so we focused very much on PvP, bringing players together using, using the Hourglass. Um, but the, the PvP that you feel in the world organic PvP. Yeah. It feels different, right? It's, it's got a completely different identity. Um, I prefer it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally understandable. It's different vibe, feels different. We are doing something specifically in that area for mm. Season 11. Now, this seems really cool, and it could be really good, but what really scares me out of all of this is a pattern. Remember, one new cosmetic set, revamp the mode, and then abandon it, and they have added no cosmetic sets, made one change to it, and they're going to be doing something with the mode in organic PvP, maybe a slight revamp. It definitely looks like that does not look like the same thing. And the pattern here is very much a stretch. What I really hope is whenever they do whatever they do with organic PvP and the hourglass, is that they add more cosmetics with it, especially to skeleton, add more ship sets, add add weapons to unlock. Please, okay, okay, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you, enemy, you little pe.